Um, money advice. Bill, I'm an OTR truck driver. What the fuck is that? Off track betting? What is that? Uh, OT, I don't know what that is. All right, I'll, I'll take your word for it. I'm an OTR truck driver and have a problem with blowing fucking money like a politician. I have a wonderful fiance with a great head on her shoulders and she is great with money. Uh, every time I see the bank statements, the balance is more and more, so I know she's doing a bang-up job with our finances. Well, let me tell you something, sir. You are one perceptive son of a bitch. Um, <laughs> keep seeing a number bigger, and I know that that must be a good thing. Um, so what's the fucking problem, you say? Well, like I said, I'm terrible with money. So I got one of them, I got one of them prepaid debit cards. He literally wrote one of them. I like this guy. He talks like Elvis. Uh, and every Tuesday, payday, my girl puts $50 on there so I can get groceries. That way I don't turn into one of these fat shits that eats every meal out, out of the Wendy's. Out of the Wendy's. Oh, God, this guy's great. Eastbound and down, loaded up and trucking. We going to do what they say can't be done. We're going to get some hookers at the next truck stop. We ain't going to wear condoms and shoot some drugs. And we'll all get fucking AIDS and pass it all around. Um, well, $50 is good for one week of groceries. But it's like pulling fucking teeth for extra money. Like, say, for drinks or some rubbers. No, like for drinks or some extracurriculars. Am I an asshole for thinking I deserve a few extra bucks or what the fuck, Bill? By the way, Nia has a sexy fucking voice, and go fuck yourself. Um, are you an asshole for thinking you deserve a few extra bucks? Absolutely. The fact that that poor woman is legally bound to you, and you you have no concept of how to hold on to money. That would be like, I mean, you're a guy. Like, you're supposed to fucking earn a living to support a family, Right. If you have no concept of that, that would be like if she had no concept of, of like how to have a baby or how to blow somebody. You know what I mean? Because that's what their job is, sucking dick and making babies. <laughs> Such an idiot. <laughs> oh, God. Imagine if I had the balls to run for president after doing this podcast for five years. How, I, how easy would it be to take me down? Um, dude, why don't you learn about money? Do you really just want to float around like with your fucking eyes wide open, just not getting it? Don't you want to understand money? She's giving you 50 bucks a week. You know why? Because you're too fucking stupid to get 60. And I'm sure you can crawl under a truck and modify it. I'm not saying you're straight across the board dumb, but to not to not to understand money. It's, I swear to God, dude, is one of the dumbest things that you honestly, and this is for everybody, it's one of the dumbest things you could ever do in life. Is I understand not understanding money up to about 18, 19, but once you're to the point where you can go to a library, where you can go on the internet and you can just, just read up on it, okay? If you don't understand money, you're going to be behind the eight ball for your entire fucking life, and you're basically going to be an indentured servant to credit card companies and banks, and your life is going to suck way more than it needs to, okay? I'm not saying that just because you understand m money, one of your kidneys isn't going to shit the bed. Bad shit's already going to happen. You don't need to compound it with not understanding money, all right? This woman is the best thing that ever fucking happened to you. You don't understand money, and you want money for drinks and some extracurriculars. What does that mean, an eight ball? If you start with drinks and then you say, I like how say for drinks or some extracurriculars, like boozing to you isn't even an extracurricular activity. That's just, you know, that's like nourishment for you. So I'm, I'm assuming that extracurriculars is at least a bag of weed or maybe some condoms to bang some trucker whore, truck stop whore, you know? Listen, sir, you got a great fucking woman, but... She's only going to put up with you not understanding money for so long because at some day, point she's going to want a goddamn man, okay? Especially once you have a couple of kids. She doesn't need you being some adult kid. So I would say read up on money. 
and you'd understand what a favor she's doing for you. If, you, if your bank balance is going up, you're doing better than 90% of the people out there. All right? So here's a good thing. You got a fucking angel, and she's smart. And uh, just read up on money. All right? She's also keeping you in shape. Go buy groceries. Don't become a tub of shit. You know? She's basically, without you even realizing or possibly even her, she's laying down the gauntlet here. She's basically saying in her own cute way, I don't want to be married to some fat, broke trucker. All right? So read up on money. Keep eating your fucking pears and fruit out there, and uh, and you'll be fine. All righty?